Namaste Pisces. How are you all doing today? I'm so grateful you're here doing a quick reading for you for the next week. I know that these are general readings, so I'll take what resonates with you. Usually before I do my readings, I do a little ground down, a little meditation session. I usually get a general feeling about your energies. Um, but yeah, when I was meditating, I just felt a good feeling of balance and harmony. And I don't know, I started thinking of happy thoughts from my past. So maybe some of you might be thinking of very happy uh, past memories. Some of you in the recent past, you have possibly have been making memories that you will remember for a long time. All right, but let's dive in right away and get started on your reading. This is a general reading for the next week. Uh, so take what resonates with you. So I think you might need to be assertive uh, with a situation within the next week. Uh, it might involve some sadness and pain. You might be getting into some dramatic encounters where you're feeling defensive in a way. Uh, with this Knight of Swords, uh, you need to deal with that head on. See how he's just moving quickly, head on. I think you're in a state of transition, a mental shift of some sort. You're moving away from the familiar and are comfortable with the unknown. And I think you're ending a cycle, but you're going to be making steady progress with this Knight of Pentacles uh, towards better times. Knight of Pentacles um, represents a slow stability, so I know that you could also rely on stable friends and family. I think you should take slow, steady, daily action um, towards your goals this week. You got the Two of Swords. See how uh, they're protecting themselves. This is an indecisive card. They're blindfolded and need to trust their intuition on which direction to go. I think you're gonna find uh, that inner strength uh, this week uh, to really deal with whatever you're dealing with. Um, you'll also have to be mindful and uh, shift your perspective. Take a step back to observe what's going on in your life. That'll lead you to victory. Know that people are cheering you on and you'll get a good sense of stability for all your hard work. But what should you be aware of uh, this week? You got that Two of Swords again. You gotta really trust your intuition. I know sometimes you might feel like you are making the wrong choice, but trust your intuition uh, when making decisions this week. What should Pisces be aware of this week? You got one popped out for you. The uh, Eight of Swords, um, this is a card of feeling trapped and she is blindfolded, but she is able to untie herself. They're loosely, she's loosely tied and those swords are stuck into the ground. They're not pointed at her. So this is a lot of self-restriction. This is a lot of you needing to maybe change your thoughts, which will change your life. Any other obstacles for Pisces this week? Okay. Okay, whatever drama or competition you are dealing with, with the Five of Wands, uh, with the Eight of Wands, it's asking you to just move quickly. So I feel like you should remove yourself quickly from whatever drama that might be going on in your life this week. Just follow this quick movement and flow with the energy to make positive changes. Holy moly. All right, so I'll just get you a nice positive messages from the Oracle deck. They're usually pretty positive. All right, you get the Roots of Abundance. These roots are planted firmly into the ground know that you're not a victim in life uh life happens for you not against you know that when you're fully grounded uh, nothing in your life can uproot you i will see you next week 
hope the rest of your week goes well. Just be mindful of everything and know that you have that inner strength to endure whatever uh, you need to endure this week. Um, It might take a little hard work, but just uh, stay rooted into the ground and uh, get away from whatever drama is coming into your life right now. All right, namaste. Thank you, Pisces. Have a good rest of your week.